This is going to be a short tutorial about IXL and in IXL we have different ways of getting into IXL. We, of course, we have the app and for us to use IXL, Safari isn't going to work so well because we need to have um, Flash Player and Safari does not support Flash Player. So we also have the Puffin app. So between the two we have the IXL app and the Puffin app and in the IXL app if we tap on that, we can go in as a guest and just to see how it looks. And it does start different than it does show in the lab computers or on your regular PC. And here, um, it just tells you to choose a grade. And they have all these different ones and they're soon coming out with ge geometry for our middle and high school students. So we're going to first start with kindergarten. So if we just click on K, it gives us all these different options of being able to choose different pieces to go into. Now it does actually show the letters like it would show in your regular browser. Um, on a regular computer. It does show the, you know, A, B, C, D, um, but it, it, it does look a lot different. So if I go ahead and click on one, here it tells me all the different levels that I could potentially do under the section B numbers and counting up to five. And so we still have the B1, B2, B3, and so forth. So if we go back, oh, if we go into these, if we just pick one, it goes in and it does the same thing that it would do on a regular computer. The student can tap on the speaker. And it will tell the student what the words are saying. Let's get a little bit more volume here. Hmm. So if I there we go, that's a little better. So if I and I choose now count up by one. So if we have four, obviously we have five. We click and we submit and we go on and it comes up with our score and how long we've been on here and how many problems we've attempted here um, so if we do a wrong answer we click submit oh it tells us and then tells us the same amount of information and it will explain to us of how we got the wrong answer and what we need to do the next time and so just like on a regular computer, we click got it, and it brings us to a new problem. Now if we close out by doing our five finger pinch, and if we go into the Puffin web browser, and here it's almost easier, or it looks exactly the same as you would on a regular computer. So if I tap here, and if I just do IXL, we can save this as a web page. Oh, it did autocorrect. IXL. Click here. And this is our IXL. And here we have a username. But for us, for our district, we can add this one extra tidbit of information. And it brings us here to where it looks just like it is in the lab. And this page I would take and I would also add it as a shortcut or a bookmark for IXL. And save. And then we have it there. So every time a student is done, they can just click out of it. And then we have Head Sprout and we also have IXL. Now, having the center based on IXL here, um, when we're done, 
here's where the settings are to where we would have to sign out every single time. So we would click on settings and then sign in, or it would say sign out if we were already signed out. So just the difference between the two apps, a short video.